building up a constant flow of different energy sources for Singapore. The Singapore liquefied natural gas terminal will now add to the country's energy portfolio. The terminal will supply to the six firms that have agreed to buy an initial 1.5 million tonnes per annum of regasified LNG, which is a quarter of the volume presently imported by pipeline. These multi-billion dollar contracts provide options for further increases in gas volumes should the companies invest in additional generation capacity and require more gas. This is a significant commitment by the generation companies and it ensures a sizable base load of LNG throughput from the start of terminal operations. As the terminal develops, power gas will also construct new gas pipelines. About 65 kilometers of pipeline will connect the LNG terminal to the existing network to convey regasified LNG to end users. Singapore also hopes the terminal will become a center for LNG trading in Asia, where it can be used for storage and reloading. There are a wide number of players that we have talked to. I'd rather not um, mention them all on paper, but there's certainly a lot of interest out there, particularly in the trading side of the, of the terminal. The LNG terminal will occupy about 30 hectares of land over here on Jurong Island. When operational in 2013, it's hoped that the terminal will also benefit the other existing industries, for example, like the ones you see over there, where they can also make use of the liquefied natural gas for their own operational processes.